you. And they never, why don't these motherfuckers ever fuck up white people's name? That's, see, this, this is why I'm here today. <laughs> just because, just to make white people, make sure white people behave themselves on Martin Luther King's birthday. We have to behave ourselves. No one ever ourselves. says, hey, today's George Washington faggot's birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they always frauding and slipping with niggas? I don't understand it. Would they give him uh, crap about the wooden teeth, I think, is that thing. And, uh... Well, President's Day, right? Isn't that isn't today that coming up soon or something? I don't know. Like they want to lump it all into one thing. But Lincoln's getting a little abuse on the History Channel. I gotta watch this. See, look, what's, the, see what's the correlate? The, what is the coalition between Lincoln and him getting a bad rap? He helped niggas out. Now they gotta expose him for the for the for, nut case. For the for he's a, he was a schizophrenic. He's a fucking nut. <laughs> They're like he uh, he was waging two wars: one on the battlefield, one in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <And> the, <laughs> oh, I know one in his head was helping those niggas be freed. On the morning. What a mistake. <laughs> on that dreadful morning in 1964, he woke up and said, I freed the what? <laughs> Lord, I'm glad he was crazy. Woo, we still be, of I still course. be picking cotton. If that, if that white man wasn't crazy. <laughs> of course he was crazy. Look what he did. Look what he did. He freed the slaves. <laughs> freed the slaves right at the peak of the slaves. Right when we needed them the most. <laughs> Do you see why we don't like white people? Do you see? Let Lincoln be. How, How long has he been about, dead? How can you can't talk about George Washington used to fuck rabbits or something? Give us Never that did first. did anything bad. Do what, you know what you should do to make it not fucked up? Go, just... All the presidents. How many was it? Sixty or some shit? I don't uh, know. It's been a few. Uh, a bit of forty something. Forty something. Yeah. yeah forty something. Just go, do do like a succession of specials of how fucked up they all were. Every single one of them. And just get. And the sixteenth week is Lincoln. You know yeah. what I mean? Just talk about Quincy Adams. But just don't just say Lincoln was a crazy motherfucker. He freed the slaves. Do something else. Somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Just one second. Do you know that absolutely was not a noble thing that he did? Like, it wasn't out of nobility. I've seen so much on this and read so much. It was absolutely Anthony. the fact that it crippled the South. It crippled the South during a war oh. against the South. And Lincoln decided that was a good war strategy. You, if there was no fucking war, do you think this asshole would have come see, out this and is said, the free the slaves? Can you do me? Look, it, if you looked at it like that, it's like mm -hmm. when you when you study Hitler, uh, not to have my life destroyed. I have done a little dabbling in the it's study like of you Hitler. You could say in his mind. <laughs> right. It was a business decision. It wasn't personal. It was it was like the Holocaust was so that he his soldiers wouldn't go crazy just shooting people in the streets. It was it was a helping them out. At kind the of beginning, thing. it was all about getting Germany back uh, in in every facet in in business, uh, militarily building them back, building up their spirit after being you know defeated. Uh, in World War One and having to give up uh, uh, everything, this was their way. They needed a common enemy. They needed someone to blame. Right. They put that blame on the people that were successful in Germany at the time, right. the Jews. Right. Who were making the money. But and, you can't. Like, imagine, okay, if we, mm -hmm. if out of context, right, like, say somebody takes clips for this, that, that this little rant you're doing oh, about Hitler. Like, that has never Mr. happened. Mr. Cumia. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, believe me, they got 800 other ones of me. Mr. Cumia Hitler. has a little mustache now <laughs> to commemorate Hitler's hard work. <laughs> why, why isn't his birthday celebrated? <laughs> He's a great man. Jeez, you know, is a, a man in history. I'm not saying he was a good man, but he was a man that was there in history. And he heard voices like that nigger. Loving Lincoln. <laughs> 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 Motherfuckers are so wrong, man. You guys are so wrong. White people are so wrong when they do stuff am like this. So right, Patrice. Listen, I am the only one looking through realistic eyes at the whole picture. <laughs> so what if Lincoln? What if Lincoln, Lincoln freed the slaves because it was a great. It was a great thing to do to fuck the South. <laughs> It's like it's all about defeating the, the South. The South is trying to build and feed an army right. based on people going, all right, I'll get you that sugar, whatever you need, boss. All of a sudden, there's none of them motherfuckers running around. 
now, now a good fighting man has to now provide for a family and worry about that and worry about his his fields and everything. Uh, there's a saying called impact versus intention, right? Uh huh. The impact of it was greater. Then the intention. He didn't know at his the time. intention wasn't shit, but he actually did the biggest humanitarian move in the history of the world with ulterior with other than, motives. Other than Moses. The nobility of it was buried who, ten layers down under his ulterior motives. They who care? That's like if you come and you go, you know, sweetie, you know, you came by pulling my left ball, and I really, <laughs> your, the intention was me not to come, but it's like he, he, he it, we came. It was a noble. It was a noble. Who cares if it was noble? But the end result was noble. You just said, well, let me let me get this correct, because so, we don't want to get nobody in no goofy trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that you could explain. And I, I was in. Eng I only learned about World War II correctly when I go to England. That's the only time I ever learned about World War II. For all in a, that. In a meaning, because yeah. it's it's a non-American viewpoint. You know yeah. what I mean? So Hitler, if you let somebody tell you, his mind it was a noble. The reason that they had the Holocaust itself is because. In the beginning, he used to just have his soldiers shoot people in the streets, and they would come back crazy, like, I can't do this. So they said, we need a better way to help our More soldiers. More efficient way. And here's the fucking Holocaust. Right. So it's like, you you can make a case that he was a decent motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little hard. <laughs> that is a rough one. Because it's Hitler. But right. you don't make a case that Lincoln was a was cuckoo because he, he, he freed the slaves. Slave. Can you not do I'm that? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I've never said that. I said that he he, he might have been cuckoo, but the cuckoo part of it was a brilliant wartime strategy. Mm. Free the people that are working for nothing for the enemy. It It is brilliant now, I'm not to gonna take their workforce away. I'm not going to say slavery wouldn't have been over. Mm -hmm. If the cotton gin didn't, I mean, the cotton gin effectively would end the slavery at some yeah. point, I think. That racist machine. That racist, that <laughs> stupid motherfucker. That stupid machine. Oh, and of course they gotta put the word gin in the motherfucker. <laughs> oh, know how you like the gin and juice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the cotton crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Martin Luther King Day. Thank you. Regardless I'm, of how the goddamn thing is. I'm just so helping us out today, yes. I'm just here to make sure white people just Keep don't, us in check. Yeah, just don't abuse the man. You know something, Patrice? I appreciate it, because sometimes you're right. I do get out there a little bit, and I need to be reeled back. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, oh, that crazy Lincoln. Uh, like, what? Oh, that man was crazy. Even though, I ain't going to lie to you, I will expose something about the black community. We, we, we we are not jerking off Lincoln. We really don't. We no. that because black people really are into into context. Yeah. And the fact is that it wasn't like oh we should slip free these people. Black people know that. But yeah. it, it is Lincoln. But we're not on that shit. Where it's like no, you're not. He's all our these. savior. He's right. our Moses and shit. We're not. We're right. not on that. So I mean, I'm fucking around, mm. but you know. They had to do a little defending of uh, Martin Luther King yesterday. I saw that uh, yeah. going out on it's CNN. Plagiarism oh. or something like that. Every yeah, every cheated every, on his wife a little bit. Yeah, every year, and it seems another book comes out that points out his uh, his humanity. You know. Well, Jesus was supposed to be you know messing with hoes. You, you know, know what it was? He's too recent, Martin Luther King. There's too much easily accessible info. Jesus, you know, you can't go into the FBI fucking CIA <laughs> files and go, who was this Christ? Give me Christ's file. Let's see what that fucker was up to. He was fucking healing what's the, lepers. What's and the FBI guy? Uh, uh, the, 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 the notorious motherfucker FBI. Oh, uh, 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 Hoover? J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover. He probably had the Jesus file. Give me the Jesus <laughs> file. I want to take a look at this curing the lepers and turning that fucking water into wine shit. I don't believe it. <laughs> but uh, MLK, there's a shitload of stuff on him. They were really looking at him. Oh, they they really were. And there's accusations of a lot of womanizing, white womanizing, uh, corruption, uh, infighting with uh, Jesse Jackson and uh, other black leaders. So it's, uh, it, I think it just shows him as more of a human. Uh, then I think a lot of people like to put him up in this, this saintly. Well, that's that's this is all to make sure he doesn't get like Jesus uh, status. It doesn't get it's Jesus. Just, that we gotta, gotta chip show. away now, you know, <laughs> so we don't walk around with chains with like 
of him on a balcony laying down on the ground and shit. Like, you know, what's up, dog? Like <laughs> Christ on the a cross. Di- yeah, a diamond, would be a on diamond that? Martin Luther King balcony. A balcony. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's just to make sh- <laughs> fucking chain to make out what it is. No, I need an iced out balcony, nigga, just to, you know. <laughs> you can walk around with the littlest, tiniest cross and everyone will know you're fucking Christian or Catholic or something. <laughs> but you'd need a big thing for the detail of that balcony, <laughs> them cradling MLK pointing. Like, People pointing. <laughs> <laughs> James Earl Ray in the bushes. <laughs> this is a big ass. This is the iced out Mario <laughs> King murder scene, yo. <laughs> you got a big fucking stage set on your chest. Iced out murder scene. <laughs> that's just to make diamonds. sure no one gets Jesus status in the world. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what that is. No one. Yeah. He's the closest, I think. Uh, other than, unbelievably, uh, you know, I, this is dude Martin Luther. Without the king, right. that I never even knew exist till 2000, 2000 when they did the the top two hundred people of the millennium or the last two thousand years. Yeah, and they go number three, Martin Luther. I'm like, wow, that's cool, but where's the king? They just no. left the king off. Fuck it. It's some white guy I've never heard of Martin Luther until that until 2000. Wasn't he like the Protestant guy? He was he invented pro yeah, yeah kind of yeah. you know pro whatever. It's, but it's like he's I think he's the closest to since then to get that kind of status. But Martin yeah. Luther King they're gonna make sure that he's not gonna get like Jesus status. Now keep the under they gotta keep undermining him they a got, little bit. They got to because a thousand years from now it's like oh wow he he really is. Black people's plight is really like the Jews in Moses' time during the slavery. And they don't want us to change that into that. You ain't toting no fucking block up to the top of a pyramid. Who gives a shit? We to- they, they, they built the pyramids for half a week. It, it was half a week. Yeah, you, know, you talk minute, about some fucking... Eight? We didn't tote no fucking... You talk about some fucking slavery, my friend. That was oh, slavery. Uh, let me tell Let me... According... To uh, according to uh, Charlton Heston's movie, from what I watched, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, was that Ben Hur or the Moses one? It was the Moses one. All right. Now, Ten Commandments. Edward G. Robinson. Nah. 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 Stop, Joe. Stop. See, Mother Joe. That's curtains for you, Joe's curtains. See, nah. <laughs> nah. All they did. Tote that is, box. Lift that belt. <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> Edward G. Robinson made him stomp the grass uh-huh. and water Not and make mud. Bricks and without grass. Bricks. Yo Brenner. <laughs> Yo Brenner is a tough motherfucker. Yo Brenner just made sure that Edward G. Robinson was doing shit right. Uh-huh. Charlton H- and and then they just pushed they pulled bricks. They pulled bricks. That wasn't uh, That's all they did. According to that movie, to me, that wasn't as bad as 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 as, as tote that bars lift that bell. But that picking went, cotton all day in the sun. It went on so much longer. Maybe the Egyptian sun was a little hotter than South Carolina's <laughs> sun. <laughs> but that's about it. And there, you, I defy <laughs> you to find a house nigger back in those days either. Yeah, no, you did. There were like eunuchs or something. There was no, there were house, no, they were house, what, Egyptians, house my, friend. <laughs> my friend, <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, friend. you come in, <laughs> please, my friend, <laughs> <laughs> cook the pizza bread, my friend, that's where, that's where the origin of my friend came from, was back in Egypt, <laughs> my friend, no, 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 please, my friend, don't, my friend, don't, and I just think that, I, look, I can't, that's a good question. Who was who had the hardest hard, who had the hardest who slavery? Who had the hardest slavery? Mm. I would say I don't know how long slavery went on for the pharaohs. It couldn't have took 400 years to build those pyramids. I think they were enslaved for uh, upwards of probably a thousand years. I think it was a long ass slavery <laughs> that went on there to build those. Fucking well, at least they had one and- job to do. Uh, just build just ornamentary. <laughs> when you get this done, yeah. we'll let you go. We've got. We we'll need let you go. Right. We need a pyramid. We need a sphinx. We need a fucking tribute to Ra over here. I need the sun god motherfucker built over here. As soon as you guys complete, you go home. <laughs> Who was in charge of the nose on this motherfucking fell? Off? <laughs> you call that a nose? You call that shit a nose? It fell right off. We, we didn't have the straw for the bricks. Edward G. Robinson was very greedy with us. Ma, now Bell Brick without straw. See? Ma, Mugsy, Mugsy, go make sure the slaves are working. Ma. 
<laughs> so happy MLK to everyone out there. Uh, yes. Whatever. In conclusion, yeah. no happy whatevers, Martin Luther King. No whatevers. Whatever. This is in enabling us to sit here today, Martin Luther King. It's your day. We don't. I need... just can't wait for the this day. This show doesn't acknowledge MLK. That's why we're working today. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, why look we're at working. Look at us working. I'm... It's a company holiday. We're like, you know what? This is one. Uh... This is one holiday we refuse to take. Uh... <laughs> you should have did this right out of Arizona. Special Obi and Anthony fly from Arizona. Not only are we going to work on MLK Day, we're going to have Patrice O'Neill in and to I'm, do the heavy lifting and for I, us. And I'm going to, I was here to make sure you behave yourself because yes. truckers don't call in and go, I was there when that, he overreacted. That nigga was thinking he's, he's alive. Him and Tupac and Elvis are relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. MLK. Yeah, happy MLK Day. All right. Well, say that with love. I do. We did. All right. I appreciate it. We're going to do like black rejoiners and stuff when we come back. The from guy break. actually during the That's probably what, no. probably some we'll of the worst the times uh, in American history uh, was able to unite black people, something that other people have not been able to do. They've tried to come to the table, and I just can't see it happen. Marcus Garvey was close. Yeah. You know Marcus Garvey? No. No Marcus Garvey? I see. I have white, no idea. You gotta stop. You white people gotta stop. But if he was such a powerful uniting leader, we, the <laughs> whitey got, would know about him because got, we'd be shooting him. You know why they don't know about him? Because he actually had the plan mm -hmm. that was gonna save us. He created the Pan African uh, movement. He bought. Is that Liberia? No, Liberia was uh, uh, some that was supposed to be our 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 fucking Israel. Because the send it every uh, African back to Africa plan. I think Whitey would have gotten no, behind it that wasn't one. A, it wasn't a back to Africa. It was stay in America and mm -hmm. trade with only Africa. We have our own ships and trade with only Africa. When they realized by 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 fucking eighteen hundred, they realized black money was the shit. We wanted to spend some money. They just realized we do that. Nigga Rich was some shit from you know eighteen sixteen, and yeah. we just bought shit. And they was not trying to have us go back to. That's why Liberia we failed from Africa though back then. A fucking rhino horn? Fruit, I guess, motherfucker. I am not buying my rhino horns here in America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I'm buying them in Africa. Sugar, diamonds? A lot of rich sugar. Uh, you know something? We need that. What? I. <laughs> yeah, um, Tyrone, go to the warehouse. We need 18 pallets of lip plates, <laughs> and we need some neck rings. Uh, yeah, only from Africa. I am not buying this shit from the white man. They will not see one penny of black dollars. Oh, Anthony's just a dirty racist. There's no wow. <laughs> lip rings. This is what you still think of us. That's what's fucked up about this. That's the shit they showed me on PBS when I was a kid. Oh, thank you. That's PBS. all they showed me. All I knew about Africa... And the carrot sticks on the Johnson. Was, yeah, the guys with the sticks on their dick that the, shot the fucking blowguns. And, and, yeah. and the non-bungee bungee cord jumping. Right. The, 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 the vine cord. around the fucking ankle with jump off the tree guy. Right then and, and you just, even as a kid, you're watching and going, what fucking savages? Why the <laughs> hell aren't they building cars? I didn't understand. It was the way it was oh. presented. Patrice, I apologize, but I was raised in a time that was oh. very... Non-inclusive, especially it's on TV. Dirty country. I would, see, I would see this guy, the guy with the stick on his dick. He wore the stick. They painted some red on him, and he had the blowgun. And he shot the monkey in the tree, and you'd see him go. <laughs> and the monkey fell out of the tree, and he tied the monkey's tail around the head, and carried it like a purse or something back to the camp. And I thought, how clever that he was able to fashion a little handle out of the dead monkey. But how come it doesn't stand out in my mind? How come it doesn't stand out as much when you watch old... Like, now, you got to go back to the, the year one to see a fucking African act like that. Now... In yeah. the, and just in in the 1700s, 1600s, they, we never. I never get this kind of viewpoint when I watch these crackers in in, in England and walking around with the hip, dirty hip. hair. Me, y'all ain't good then. Man, White sir. wigs, rats and shit walking around. And White powder with the girls putting the mole on their face, <laughs> throwing shit out the window. <laughs> hey, hey, love, bring, it, out <laughs> bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bing bing. Bing, bing. You know something? You're right. How come? How come white people just does? They don't have a, a, a stigma for being the savages that they are. Why? 
That is, you know, you bring up a great point, and I have no fucking argument for Why? it. Why? I would be happy if they, if, what, just give it, you know. We're seeing, like, 1800s footage of Africa, and that's the most, the newest shit they could show us. Yeah, it's the King Kong shit. Those <laughs> niggas are King Kong. <laughs> look at them. Look at these nerds worshiping a damn dirty monkey. <laughs> Get your hands off me, you damn dirty nigga. That's what, that's what, <laughs> white man of the future. Yeah. White people have turned into gorillas, actual gorillas. <laughs> we don't get a break. And we, you know, we show spaceships. I go to Discovery Channel and see what uh, Whitey's doing. Whitey's and it's flying. building fucking spaceships and that's discovering right. shit yeah. and new inventions. And then it's like... Here in deepest, darkest Africa, we have the bushman of the Kalahari wearing nothing but a loincloth, trying to feed his village. Then Sca scared of lighters. <laughs> He's the god now. He's like, oh, oh, He's a, oh. I have a lighter, you ignorant, <laughs> ignorant colors. I traded this pair of sneakers he was just, for the entire village. We was all just getting ready to stab him with a with a spear until he pulled out a the. Click clack shit. Click clack clack. <laughs> so he pulls out the paddle with the ball that bounces back and forth. <laughs> was there was there like a prioritized list of shit to pull out? <laughs> like first the click clack shit, I would think first. If they ain't buying the click clack shit, you go for the mirror. <laughs> look, ooh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> this makes him think I've stolen his image and his soul. Yes, he should go for this. I think fire's like last. Then he touches his face. Uh, uh, me, turns to the medicine man for approval. The medicine really? man nods. Everything's cool. Really, Mr. Genius White Man? I didn't see that nigga face when I went down to the lake to get a drink. <laughs> you fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> yeah, there's always choppy water down at the lake. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a big black fish in the water. Oh, <laughs> Wriggles the water and the face wiggles. Hey, ooga booga. You motherfuckers. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. <laughs> yeah, we brought mirrors and his scandals on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dirty motherfucker. Uh, Patrice, I gotta apologize. I am just, I am, I am Thank pretty you. much just a apologize. victim. I'm a victim of what's out there. Just apologize for once. Just say that we, you love us. That's all we I want. I love you, but I have no clue what you're about <laughs> because I only watch shows that are so goddamn racist. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now they're gonna take the one nigga love that was associated us with his real heavy and turn him into a nutcase. Yeah. <clears throat> Honest hey, babe. Oh, uh, I think the I think the graphics was like a little cuckoo coming out of his head. I'm leaking. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. You know, they're, they're probably gonna uh, tell everybody that no one wore hats like that back then. It was just him. Imagine how ridiculous you look if just you walked around with that fucking stovepipe hat. Uh, there's a little known fact about Abe Lincoln. He was the only one wearing that fucking thing. He was the point of laugh. They didn't compare him to Hitler. Notice that? Hitler, the only one with that mustache? Lincoln, the only oh, one with that hat. Oh, there you go. Lincoln, Lincoln told John Wilkes Booth. Just shoot me in the head, because I hate this ugly bitch sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> he committed assisted suicide. God bless that Wilkes Booth. Wonderful chap. All right. Good man. We're going to take our first break. All righty. How are you, Opie?